through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. 
You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? It must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. See like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need.
Ugh. Bitter? No. At least they make you feel better. All right. We should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah. Good idea. There's more of the red growths here, too. traveled a long way to get here. I almost caught up to you a couple times, too. But it's not easy keeping up with a machine rider. You always were a good tracker. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. Looks like they left a carcass behind. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some Ridgewood by the stream. All right. Now to craft some arrows. There's a ladder, but can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. Done. Me too. Arrow's ready. find a way in. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. So, um... What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Down this way. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those 
Guess that machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Another one's coming. Find anything good? A few supplies. <clears throat> How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother and I left to bring God. her home. The sun came for the people who work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Going into a ruin of the old ones. Goddess protects us. We'll be okay, Varl. Through here. Welcome to the Far Zenith Launch Facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but... Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now?
Ugh, what's that stench? The entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to dump for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. came through here, brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. A lot of supplies here. I guess they plan to stay a while. Though. Stronger than rope. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Now to test it on the debris.
worked better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Years of space to get there. Please proceed into the Almost auditorium where we'll unveil our scan. plans. What's this? Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Well, that door looks promising. But how do I get up there? I don't think I'm doing this right. That's not working. This isn't the right way. <laughs> wow, that worked. That full caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up.
Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Thanks. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I still can't believe the old ones can fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. 
I wonder what it's like up there, among the stars. The wilds have really grown over this place. My focus might be able to help here. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. <coughs> up here. <laughs> Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Move it off. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. In position. Ready when you are. Mine's down too. <laughs> More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. I've been meaning to mention, I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed.
Flight's made its way in here, too. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself Dismantled up. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. this okay I should have what I need to craft a trap Of trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Hut! 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 Hut!
they spotted us. Clear. Let's keep going then. In a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. that ladder from here. It's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan... Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got a backup. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Looks like we've got to climb up. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. We won't be going that way. years old.
Looks like some kind of meeting room. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering. An obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades Protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy? Why does that woman look like you? Uh, um... It's okay, bro. We look alike because we're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's... More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this? Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oro. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Okay. 